Hey everybody, um, good to talk with you again. Just a, a short story this uh, this week from the Bhagavata Purana. It's a story from the childhood of Krishna, who is an avatar of Vishnu, the Supreme Being. Uh, and in the story, uh, Krishna is a little boy and a mischievous little boy who loves butter and causing trouble and playing pranks and things like that. And the story, as it's laid out, is, is about seeing the divine in the relative world and also about how we can bind this absolute divinity up with the cord of love, if you will. So the story goes like this. Uh, it's it's uh, just a normal day. And uh, Yashoda, uh, Krishna's mother, is trying to uh, make the butter. She's trying to churn the butter. And Krishna is just a little toddler, a little boy, and he's... Um, he wants his mother's attention and he wants to be fed and so he is pestering her and he's playing around and she's just trying to to churn the butter and the heat and keep him calm and finally she gives up and she puts him on her lap and feeds him while she churns the the butter um, but then she notices that on the stove um, some milk is boiling over so she jumps up to run and, and get the milk off the stove and save it before it burns and Krishna, being a little boy, is, is angered by this. And so he sees the, the vessel in which she's churning the butter, and he knocks it over, and he breaks it. And he takes a big scoop of the curds out in his hand, and he runs off with it. And he's got this big scoop of the curds of the butter. And he goes, and he sits, and he hides away. And he's eating it, and he's feeding it to the monkeys. And he's having a good day. And then his mother um, comes up to him, and she sees the broken, the broken pot. And then she comes and finds Krishna. And she's chasing after him, but he's, he's the lord of the universe. She can't quite kept, catch him. So she's running after him and running after him. And she's sweating and he's laughing. And it's just a little boy playing. And um, she is just a mother trying to get through the day. And then finally he sees that she's tired and, and, uh, and distressed. And so he, he allows her to uh, catch him. And so when she catches him, she needs to teach him a story, but he's simply laughing and playing with her and, and being a good boy again. But she wants him to be disciplined. She wants him to understand that he has to act properly. And he can't be a mischievous little boy all the time. So she says, I'm going to tie you up where you were so you can't run away and you can't play games and I can get some work done. And so he agrees and he's going to let her tie him up. Um, and so she takes a piece of rope and she tries to wrap it around his waist and she realizes it's too small. So she goes and she gets another piece of rope to tie around her little boy. And she grabs, you know, she attaches one end and then she tries to stretch it and she realizes that piece of rope to, as well is also too, too small. And so she gets another piece of rope and she ties that up. And she's trying to, to bind the Supreme Lord of the Universe and she can't do it. So he just looks like a little boy, and, and she's getting more and more frantic with the whole thing, and there's a crowd gathering and watching, and this little boy um, laughing and laughing as his mother is trying to, to tie him so that he doesn't run away. And then finally he sees that he needs to give in, and um, with all the love between them, he allows her to bind him and tie him uh, safely up, at which point the rope finally uh, reaches. And then at that point she can go on with her duties knowing that her love has, has binded uh, the Supreme Lord. So anyways, I hope you find this helpful. Um, we'll see you again on Saturday. Take care. Bye now.